Yo, so Otakus, it's Dre here today, and we are going to be checking out the Marvelous 2023 Showcase. If you guys aren't familiar with Marvelous or XSeed in general, they have a huge amount of really awesome Japanese video games, and this is what they're going to do to show us what's happening next. I'm kind of interested to see what we got. Probably going to be, I don't know, maybe some Senra and Kangura. If we're lucky, definitely some uh, Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, rather. Confuse those. Let's check it out. Oh, we got the pretty music right off the top. <laughs> Who would have thought? Luna. What is it? Lunar? No, we're not getting Lunar. Okay, so what? Space. We got space. We're getting space down. <laughs> almost looks like uh, Loop 8, actually. Is that what we're getting? I'm so freaking excited for Loop 8. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure. This game is going to be really good. I know that it was leaked. We'll talk about that on the page. Uh, I'm not getting my copy until the 7th. Graphics just look so good in these, though. This game just seems like it just has a really hot vibe to it. I'm stoked. So as I understand it, a lot of it is based about building friendships, and those relationships are what helps you continue through the story, and you're trying to prevent the end of the world. This looks savage. And there is some turn-based uh, fighting in it. Frame rates are kind of disturbing, but we'll see. Graphically and stylistically, I just don't think you can go wrong with this game. I just don't know exactly what, like, the gameplay is going to look like in its entirety. We've only seen snippets of stuff, so... It is Loop 8. I was right. Oh, imagine that. That was an easy pick. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. June 6th. So, like I said, I don't get my copy till June 7th. I'm getting the Celestial Edition. Project Magia. Magia. I know nothing about this, so this is going to be totally fresh. Project Magia. Project Magia. Project Magia. Project Magia. Project Magia. はい。Literally thought I heard him say Honkai. Character designs remind me of One Piece, actually. Very remind me of fairy tales, what I should have said. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I can get behind that. What kind of game is it, though? Exploring the bad guy's point of view, that's always welcome. そんなプロジェクトマギアに登場するキャラクターたちの魅力を十分に引き出していただけるのは。I do see the fairy tale kind of art vibe behind it. I can get it. That one looks cute. I like him. He looks cute. Cool. Mashima先生のイラストを国内外問わずたくさんの人に興味を持っていただきたいと考えています。それでは石田さん、最後に。ご覧になっている皆さんにメッセージをお願いします。マシマ先生とのタッグでマーベラスの新境地を切り開けるようスタッフ一同制作しています。どんなゲームになるのか想像を膨らませてください。はい、石田さんありがとうございます。Come on,
I mean, with a name like that, I guess I didn't think you were going to get that real. Project Life is an RPG. This is another one I'm kind of excited about. We've had a lot of kind of life sim RPG games lately, though, so who knows? We're just going to get another teaser again. Okay, so this is not going to be attached to anything they've released before. That's interesting. I'm interested in fresh uh, IPs. We don't get a ton of those lately. It seems like we get a lot of rehashes and continuations, which, which can be good, too. But fresh things are always welcome. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay, it's a lot more vibrant than I expected. And to just kind of catch everything that I'm seeing here. An interesting fusion of, like, the sea and almost, like, sci-fi looks. Yeah, they're kind of giving this impression of like a, a big space or big things. A lot of water, a lot of water in this world. It's very interesting. Interesting. And the ship too. It makes me wonder: is the ship a big part of it? It looks like there's a silhouette there in the back. RPG is life. Ah. I wish I had more info. It does look interesting, and the concept art looks great, but it doesn't give us a lot to run with. Oh, okay, there we go. Sailing the open seas, so there is going to be some sailing. Feeling of adventure. So I wonder if they're kind of going with an older school vibe. The ship sailing was kind of an older thing, which... Be cool if they kind of went retro. Hmm. Diligently under development. Well, that will be interesting. I wonder when we'll see that, though. All right, so these are some of my favorite games of all time. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't tell you how many flipping hours I spent on Harvest Moon 64, Harvest Moon, SNES, uh, the Game Boy versions, the Game Boy Advance versions. I still have most of them from when I was a kid. These are just absolutely fantastic. And if you're not aware, uh, Story of Seasons is actually the OG Harvest Moon, and what is known as Harvest Moon now is not Harvest Moon. I have completely abandoned anything labeled as Harvest Moon now. There was a lot of licensing issues and stuff that have to go along with that, unfortunately. So the original version of A Wonderful Life I actually thought was pretty darn ugly, so I'm kind of excited to see it refreshed with a more modern take on the visuals. It was a solid game outside of that, though. So they say they're talking about the series. It makes me wonder if we're going to get more than just newest game that's coming out. I think next month or the month after. Experiences. Okay. I mean, that's a good route to take with Story of Seasons. Definitely the experiences really make these games a lot. Oh my god. Holy cow. Oh. Wow. And definitely, I always think of vibrancy when I think of these games, though traditionally, like, the old GameCube version was really very bland, and that's why I didn't really like it. It was an interesting world, but it just, its life was sucked out of it by how bland it was. All oh, looks great, too. Winter. I always love winter. Usually it gives you more time to explore because you're not so busy doing your farming. Got our traditional cows and sheep back. They're just classic designs. I'm glad they keep them as they are mostly. That was good. I did like that they showed the world like that. 27 years. It's like my whole life, basically. I've been playing them since I was a kid. It's amazing they've been bringing them to the States that long. Kunsakua, 
牧場物語が大切にしてきた。So they're keeping the original elements, which is good. 年齢性別を問わない、楽しい牧場体験を目指しています。今までと大きく変わったところはどこですか、中野さん。はい。特に牧場や自然表現に力を入れています。Yeah, These visual presentations look astronomically good. I really, really like the vibe of it, but now on this. 感じていただけるものを目指しています。楽しみです。そしてもう一タイトルご紹介したいと思いますこちらはみんなで遊べる牧場物語がテーマです Really? Are we gonna do more multiplayer? みんなで遊べる牧場物語 Wow! Really? Holy cow! b r e e would love that! 確かに I think some of you guys would too That'd be fun to play together No way! この牧場物語があります、ね、このみんなで遊ぶ I love fishing in the games. I know it's so simplistic, but I just really have always loved the fishing mechanics. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 異なる2つの体験を楽しむ牧場物語はこれからも制作を続けていきますご期待くださいはい、中野さんありがとうございました So that actually looks like it's a new、uh, story of seasons which I was not prepared for I thought they were going to talk about the remake and that's what we were seeing so way cool, way cool ルーファクトリーシリーズは2006年の牧場物語のスピンオフとして生まれた作品です。So, yeah, it's a spin off of Stories of Seasons. If you're not familiar with Rune Factory, though, at this point, I don't know who isn't.、Um, a lot of people have ended up really liking Rune Factory more than Story of Seasons or Harvest Moon, mostly because they added some RPG fighting elements into it as well as the normal stuff.、Um, not gonna lie, I have not played them nearly as extensively as I have the Harvest Moon. Moon games, it always just seemed like more pressure than I wanted. But because I've gotten older, I've been more open to playing a Rune Factory game. Two new Rune Factory titles. Wow.、Eh? East and West. Okay, so are they going to be pretty opposite of each other then? I wonder. Or will they pair together? Okay, here we go. Dang, okay, so we have the black and the white dragon? World looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. Huh. On floating islands. Wow, this seems like a, a wild take. I mean, I haven't played Rune Factory in many years, so maybe I'm wrong, but this feels very uniquely different than what I remember Rune Factory. Very interesting. Huh. They, they really made it very action heavy. Hi. Mazu, h i t o t s u m e n i o h a n a s h i t s u r u n o g a t o z a n t a k a b o u t the East part for Ryu no Kuni, Rune Factory, Project Dragon. Okay. Kosakwa, 
I think it's always good when they do these complete refreshes or spin offs like that too, because it can bring new players in that might not have been I'm just waiting for all the people to say Zelda clone and stuff like that. <laughs> Games are totally not that. Genshin clone. Okay, so here's the second one. I'm guessing this is probably more traditional then. Denied. <laughs> I'm not even showing anything for Rune Factory 6. Jeez. I am really excited about the Dragon one, though. That that looks really, really interesting. I'm going to keep my eyes on that for sure. Okay, I'm like, where is the big finale? Come on. I thought he was just going to roll us out. Okay, they're hitting a lot harder with this trailer. What? They kind of got me excited already. I don't even know what it is. Looks super sci-fi almost. We're even looking at is it like a chest plate? Like body armor of some sort? I don't know. Mac? So much teasing. There's gonna be a head there. Okay, now there's a head there. Oh, a Damon X Machina. Really? Wow, I can't remember when that last one came out. That was a pretty interesting game. Huh. And then they just bailed on that. That was a heck of an outro, though. I'll say that. I don't know how excited everybody is about Damon X Machina, but interesting, interesting. Well, I'd be curious to hear what you have to say about your thoughts about the Marvelous 23 showcase. Let me know down below which ones are you most excited for. Personally, I'm going to look out for that dragon-styled uh, Rune Factory game. Pretty sweet. Hit thumbs up if you like the content. If you don't, hit thumbs down. Let me know you hate this. And hit subscribe if you want to see more anime news, reviews, and gaming. We're trying to hit 1,000. I really want to get there before our big Japan trip later this year. Well, full coverage of it. Check you later.